kids welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about 10 fungal diseases the causative agent and how these particular diseases are spread if you want to know about this stick till the end of the video thank you so much guys for showing so much love down in the comment section and with your likes please continue to do so so without much further ado let's get right into the video So the first fungal disease that we have to talk about is dermatophytosis, also called as a ringworm. It is caused by the fungi dermatophytes of the tinea species. Okay, they basically feed on keratin and keratin is commonly found on our skin and on the scalp. Now, remember one thing for the growth of fungi, you require moist environments. Okay, how are they transmitted? usually mainly transmitted to soil the other mode of transmission is by sharing the belongings with an infected person next you have athlete's food caused by tinea fetus and again the same mode of transfer that is with contact of an individual of an infected person next aspergillus fumigatus this organism causes asthma Okay, which is basically related to allergy, allergy related asthma. Then you have aspergillosis and also rhinosinitis. Now, basically, it is generally harmless. So, for a normal person, it will not cause any disease. However, those that are immunocompromised are affected. Now, who are immunocompromised? Basically, those people which are on steroids that is used to suppress the in immune response, people just coming out from a transplant, they are given with steroids. Others may be those affected by HIV, that is affected by AIDS, by cancer who have undergone a lot of chemotherapy and radiation. These people are usually affected by this. Next is cochidiomycosis, also called as the valley fever. It is caused by the organism cochidiol and it is found in the soil. How does it infect? Basically, when it is inhaled. The most are at risk who are immunocompromised. Normal healthy people are very rarely affected by such fungus. Next, mucormycosis. This is recently been in a lot of news called as the black fungus. It belongs to the class zygomycota and it affects immunocompromise. So people with COVID have a compromised immune system and therefore they easily get affected by these functions. Normal people are not affected by mucal mycosis. Next is nemocyte, nemocytosis, basically caused by the organism Nemocystis giroveki, which is basically again an opportunistic. Opportunistic means that when the organism when the host immune system is suppressed that's when these organisms have the opportunity they take the advantage of affecting the host so diseases include hiv aids cancer and certain steroids next you have histoplasmosis which is caused by histoplasma capsulatum okay it is spread through soil especially that the soil which is contaminated with large amounts of bird and bat droplets because this organism is basically present in that condition. Okay, that's histoplasmosis. Next, candidiasis, also called as oral thrush. So you can see basically white colony of fungi, white uh, basic covering your whole tongue. Okay, that is called as oral thrush. And it is caused by the fungi Candida albicans. It is again an opportunistic pathogen and it is spread by kissing and sexual contact. Next, you have cryptococcus that is caused by Cryptococcus neocommons. It is an encapsulated yeast and basically spread through the contact with the feces of pigeons or the consumption of unwashed raw food. Okay. Next, you have pulmonary blastomycosis caused by blastomyces dermatidis. Okay. 
basically it is transmitted by the inhalation of spores of this fungi so that's it for me for today hopefully this was helpful join my telegram link if you need any notes for any of the topics that i have put videos on so that's it from me i'll see you in my next video bye